This year we are commemorating C's 50th anniversary by looking back and preserving our oral history. I'm very happy and I feel very privileged to be working alongside you guys. 50 years in the life of an organization and the first thought I have is like the scope, you know, it, it's huge. Everyone has a memory at a C event throughout their college experience and I think that's really the common ground that C does. Right away we knew we had our work cut out for us because there's this feeling here of wanting to be faithful to the entire 50-year timeline. And with an accomplished alumni network all across the country, we knew we were up against the clock in order to, all within the 50-year commemoration period, get as many of those stories as possible while navigating challenges like the pandemic. If we don't get these people that were C alumni or on the board in the 70s or the 80s, you know, their oral history could be lost in time. Thinking here about backtracking and, you know, trying to collect as many of those stories as possible of the people who came before us, you know, we stand, as, as we stand, we have just about two dozen current directors on the board. Thinking now about taking that journey through our history, starting that process, what better way of, um, you know, framing our past through an understanding of where we are now. I like to think of each year's board as like this little family. And right away, we got insanely lucky to start bringing in, you know, this year's current directors, current advisors, and even recent alumni to begin, you know, in that process of with unconditional love, just sharing their story. And from there, you know, magic is made. C was the very first organization that I laid my eyes on even before coming onto campus. I remember leading up to the application process, I pulled an all-nighter. I had talked to directors prior to even applying to talk about, you know, their experiences and each conversation that I had sold me even more on what I already thought I wanted. And I was right, but obviously, you know, my, my expectations were exceeded. C essentially became my life. I mean, there was a running joke within my friend group and the people that knew me around campus saying that if I wasn't in my dorm or in classes, I was in the C office. The C office was literally like my dorm. I would spend nights there. Whenever I wasn't in class, I would be in the office helping to organize. Um, so it really did become my home away from home. It made campus a little bit more, you know, welcoming for me, gave me a purpose in addition to everything else that I was involved in. The thing that drew me in was like the celebrities and all these events and uh, I don't know, there's all kind of this flashy stuff that I saw from the outside. So my friend Jay Rajay was the musical arts director and uh, he was trying to get our whole fraternity to go to uh, the Quinn 92 concert that he was planning and I didn't know anything about C, I didn't really know Quinn 92 at the time, uh, but he got a bunch of free tickets for us to go so uh, me and a bunch of guys went. And I knew he was involved in the organization. I assumed he was just like collecting tickets or I don't know, doing some, some busy work for it. And then while we're all there, he walks out on stage, like introduces Quinn 92, gets the whole crowd like excited and cheering. And I was like, wow, this is really cool. He's the one doing this. Like he's actually, this is his concert. Uh, and from that moment on, I was like, wow, this is a really cool organization. And I, I definitely want to be a part of it. I hadn't even been here yet. And I was trying to get a feel for what I would be doing no matter what school I applied to. So I was looking at different orgs that each school had and I came across C. I found their website and I, I started scrolling through and I saw Art Attack and I saw how it's this big production and I got so excited because it, it felt so much larger than a college organization. And you know, I like to think that I'm an ambitious person and I, I kind of like things that are a little larger than life. I was talking to my mom about it. I'm like, this is exactly what I'm gonna do. Like, I, I don't have any plans of going into entertainment, but this kind of production is the kind of thing I wanna be a part of. Um, so I first found about C, found out about C because of um, an event that came up, the Hassan Minaj comedy show. And I went with a few friends of mine um, it was actually a first date of mine, that event, and I went and 
I mean, I loved the show, but I, I really loved all these people on red polos. There was red at the time, now we're kind of black. Um, I just kind of loved seeing all these people running around backstage and then didn't think too much about it. I was kind of just intrigued, but saw, you know, all the behind the scenes and is really interested in it. It wasn't until a few weeks later when I ran into an old friend, a former director, who said, hey, listen, I, I think this could be a really good fit for you. You should really consider applying. I think the first word that I can think of is just professional. I mean, I saw this event that was just put on like it was a professionally run event. And for a while, I thought that that's what it was. I thought the school almost hired this outside organization or company to kind of come in and just put on an event. And then, you know, they give them some money and call it a day. Uh, and then I applied only to find out that it's like all students. And we have a few staff advisors, but so much of the work really falls off the planning, the organization, and definitely the day of, of especially running around on, on the event day uh, really falls on these students. And it's really, I mean, 23 now 24 student directors that put everything into these events to make them look as good or sometimes even better than professionally run events that I've been to. That, that's what amazed me the most. It's one of the best decisions I've made, you know, in my life, definitely in my college career. Um, and I've, I've loved it ever since. That's something to take away from is there are these communities on campus and in the world, but really especially on Maryland campus. And go chase them go join them that's that's really the only advice i can give is is join them and, and make them your own and, and make them amazing it was like the most amazing thing and it it kind of just set me up for like the rest of my college experience because i didn't realize how big of a, a portion it would be but it, it ended up being like everything uh, throughout the experience i think what i had the biggest takeaway was, was just the I don't know, the community and just the group that we brought together. It definitely extended beyond just planning events and doing things together. Uh, there was definitely a, a huge emphasis on professional development, personal development, and um, leadership development. And I think I'm a better person for having been in C and got to meet a lot of other really great people as well. One of the most exciting moments in the journey so far, I mean, that moment where you think to yourself, it's getting real now, is, uh, Establishing that first contact with um, alumni who came generations before us. It starts with just a few people and this beautiful snowball effect happened, word spread. And we knew that this big mosaic, this vision is finally coming to life. And from there, there's no turning back.